Hi, it's Jeffrey from Nine Dots. Uh, welcome to hashtag Connect the Dots, episode nine. I want to start by saying thank you to all of you who are giving me your attention and uh, taking the time to listen to this. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Brett Grossman who uh, acknowledged that he had seen this. I didn't know he was watching. So Brett, thanks very much, uh, appreciate it. And if you're watching, uh, you can let me know by liking, sharing, commenting, all that is, uh, is great for me to know that uh, someone is getting some value out of what I'm sharing. What I'd like to share uh, with you now is uh, I'm in the garden. Uh, I'm in my wife's, my son Ethan's garden. Um, and it made me think about growth. I talked about that a little earlier. Uh, and about challenges. And I wanted to put it in the context of if you have a big challenge or a big goal, either of those would work, uh, and you're trying to accomplish it and, and take steps towards it. If you have something you want to grow, a plant, fruit, and you take a big bucket and you dump water on it, uh, it'll get water, but it won't grow very well because uh, that's not the best way to grow and nurture something. And really, if you want something to grow, you need to nurture it and water it uh, over time, a little at a time, and that's the best scenario for how things will grow. So if you have a big challenge, uh, it may be, you know, or a big goal, it might be overwhelming, and so if you look at it as taking little steps along the way, it'll be easier for that to grow. Uh, and related to that, I had a scenario the other week where I came outside and we had a big um, garden table that had tempered glass on it, and with an umbrella and the umbrella had fallen and actually it hit the glass in such a way that the entire piece of glass that was probably you know, four by six shattered into lots and lots of little pieces. And it made me think, okay, well, this is, uh, I didn't expect this and this is a challenge I have to deal with. Um, and the first thing was to kind of, okay, we have a problem, let's try and work the solution, which was to tidy it up. Um, so as I was tying it up, uh, my eight-year-old son, Ethan, came and was kind of helping me with the little pieces of glass carefully. Um, and he said something pretty profound. Uh, he said, Daddy, when the table was all together in one piece, it was really heavy. But now that it's in all these little small pieces, it's really easy to pick up and, and doesn't weigh very much. And I thought, wow, uh, out of the mouth of babes, uh, this little eight-year-old uh, was sharing with me uh, when I feel overwhelmed and I have these big things that I'm trying to accomplish in life uh, that feel very heavy, that when you break them down into smaller pieces, uh, they're much more manageable and easy to use uh, and easy to accomplish what you're trying to do. Uh, and so, thank you, Ethan, uh, for that insight I thought I would share with you because I thought it, it made a lot of sense. Um, so when you're out there and you think something looks really uh, huge and heavy, uh, think about taking it down to its little pieces uh, and it'll be more manageable. Uh, and the thing is that if you do go ahead and you nurture things properly uh, and you spend the time and you have the patience, which is not always something I do, but if you have the patience to really work at something uh, little by little, uh, you can then bear some fruit. Here's my fruit, beautiful strawberry that we've grown. Um, and uh, accomplish what you're set out to do. So thanks very much again for watching and uh, happy connecting. Mmm, it's good.